Hi, this is Alira Pandora. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Fox and Ike are also present here with me, and we would like to take some time to address the events surrounding Zelentatsky's contract termination. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, to preface, we have discussed with Any Color staff and our legal team about what we are able to say. However, due to how sensitive the situation is, please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we are able to share. Both we, the livers, and the company have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very seriously. Everything that will be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. Before anything is discussed, there is something very important that we, Niji Sanji Ien, feels need to be made very clear. All of us do not condone harassment of any kind to any of the parties involved. After discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. Additionally, we've been told that there will also be a video releasing regarding the situation from Tazmi san directly a few hours following this stream. But what we say on this stream is our own words and our own feelings. I would like to first apologize if my silence on the matter has caused any worry. Over the past month, Staff received documents from Selene's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. These documents in question included personal information of some livers, and when it was sent to us, we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. Some of the information poses a risk to our personal safety and puts some of us at risk of doxing. Notably, one section of this document alludes to where Millie and I live. However, there are also harmful claims Selene made in the document about some livers' personal information that we believe are simply untrue. I felt threatened and scared of speaking out about the situation because of the risk that it could pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. I'm very sad that this is how everything had to turn out, and I deeply apologize to all the fans who have been affected through this time. When Selene had posted the tweet about her cover being privated, Several EN members reached out to Selene, and we expressed our concerns. We were genuinely concerned, and we wanted to understand the situation, as we were all in the dark about it. Once she notified all of us regarding her hospitalization, we immediately reached out to her, each other, and her manager to confirm her safety. Her manager also immediately reached out to her and her emergency contact, and kept us updated throughout the entire situation as well. It's been... A very tough time for a lot of us, and I'm honestly not sure what else to say, but thank you again for everything, for waiting, and thank you. Mm. Yeah, um, thanks, Alira. Um, no, you're no right. worries. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it has been a really, really tough time, and uh, and it's had an effect. I've, I've noticed it's had an effect on, on, on everyone. It's had an effect on me, too. So uh, I'm joining this stream to talk about my experiences with Selene, uh, to lend some of what I know to help um, help you all understand the context of this a little bit better. Uh, I know that a lot of you watching are going to have your own views and opinions on the situation, and so all I would like to ask is that you can take the information that I'm going to present at face value, if you can. So uh, this recent situation uh, began when Selene claimed on Twitter that her most recent song cover had been made private by staff, and she gave no context or reasoning as to why. In actuality, she had been asked to send the content of her music video to her manager in advance of the release date so it could be checked for content, etc., which is something that all livers agree to do. Her manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it, and as a result, it needed to be made private. It was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. It's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions, including her Fall Guys tournament in uh, August of 2023, uh, a voice pack in May of the same year, and an outfit contest also in May. In each of these situations, Selene would be working on one of the projects I mentioned, she'd be given clear communication about confirming certain aspects with staff, as all other livers receive and comply with, and each time, she would refuse to cooperate. 
and when staff would react appropriately, she would make public statements that would hurt any color's reputation. And as these situations kept occurring, myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. We felt that these statements harmed all of us as a group. So, it's this context that I hope explains why myself and some other livers decided to approach Selene and ask about her handling of the latest situation, which was her cover being made private. So some livers, myself included, asked Selene why she tweeted about the cover in the way that she did, uh, expressing that we felt it was unnecessary and harmful. According to Selene's lawyer, it's this event that they claim to be a build-up of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a build-up of past experiences, that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problems she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to any color by her lawyer, and based on what I know personally and have been told by Selene as her friend, Myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. I feel very confident in saying um, that the way I and other livers communicated with Selene about this incident was fair and reasonable, especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. In my opinion, I do not think that it was a form of harassment. Also in the document given to any color by Selene's lawyer, it stated that Selene had secretly recorded me in a private voice call without my knowledge or consent. Now, I have absolutely zero memory of what I might have specifically said in that recording, but we know it was on the topic of the tweet that I had made around the time of AR Live's cancellation last year. From what I know, based on this document, uh, Selene had wanted to use this as proof of staff showing favoritism for some members over others, as at the time I wasn't reprimanded by staff having made that tweet. I followed this issue up with my managers, and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the time. Uh, however, I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally broken a rule. In these cases, we're politely informed that when we should avoid tweeting something, uh, we apologize, delete it, and move on. The real issue here, however, is that someone I trusted and considered a friend not only recorded me in secret, but also that these recordings were held without my knowledge for almost an entire year. The fact that this was held throughout our friendship is really upsetting to me. Until now, I had always looked up to Selene as my senpai, and I felt really lucky to be her friend. Having to talk about this now and seeing how this has played out is, again, heartbreaking. Selena told me privately about her disagreements with staff and her managers, and I had done my best to support her and to help her make what I thought were the right choices even when she talked about wanting to graduate. For context, leaving Niji Sanji is always an option for Livers. If she had wanted to graduate beforehand, she was given very many chances to do so amicably, and on multiple occasions, Selen had told us she planned on graduating, but would then go back on this shortly after. For example, she told me that she would be graduating on the day we hosted the Prism Cup, but as you know, this didn't happen. She also, after being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned, nothing else. Because I trusted her so much, and I listened to her narrative of half or untruths about her relationship with any color, this caused me so much anger on her behalf that I had considered graduating with her in solidarity, seriously. And I now know that my intense feelings at the time came from omitted context and falsehoods. And that, once again, is heartbreaking. I'm incredibly happy with my job, and even in the face of times as hard as these, I really wouldn't want it any other way. So regardless of how I now feel about Selene having been my friend and having hurt me and my fellow livers in this way, her attempt on her life will never ever be something to be taken lightly. I recall the moment when I and, and uh, other livers found out about what had happened, and we prayed for her safety then, and we still do. Regardless of the outcome of the situation, I genuinely want nothing more than for Selene to grow and to be in a safe place where she can look after her health, insofar as me and, and the rest of Ian can heal in our own way too. To those of you watching this stream, please, please leave her be. Harassment of any kind is vicious, and it's insane, and it has no place in this community.
And that's that's that that's all I need to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mox. <clears throat> uh, before we round things off, I also had something that I wanted to say. It's mm-hmm. going to be a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, by the way, hi, I'm Mike. Um, <clears throat> first off, I just wanted to say, like, preface this with, like, sorry if I have a hard time finding the proper words for anything. I'm a little bit all over the place right now. <clears throat> for a very long time, I considered Selene as a good friend within Niji Sanji Ian, be it on stream or off stream. We always managed to get on really well. So um, that's why it was so shocking for me to learn that any color had received these documents from Selene's lawyer. Learning about what was contained within these documents was to me personally incredibly saddening. Knowing that the things said within the document were coming from the very same person that I call my friend was hurtful and disappointing in a way I really don't know how to describe. Not only because of it made me now re-examine our entire friendship, but primarily because the document contains some information that we believe is incorrect, that could be harmful for us, and it's just private information that is very terrifying to have been, you know, shown before you like that. Right now, we're all very stressed. But in spite of this, I feel like the public deserves to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these documents, as well as as of some of its contents, for the sake of transparency and honesty. We understand that the past week of radio silence has been really difficult for all of you, but please rest assured that we have been working very, very hard to try and understand what it is that we can and cannot say about this. But we wanted to make sure that what we shared was as much as we were able to share. Within Niji Sanji Ian, everyone always makes an effort to make sure that anyone who wants to be included in something has the opportunity to do so, whether that be online or offline. And all of us will continue to do our utmost to provide a safe and fun environment for fans to enjoy together. And uh, lastly, to round this off, I want to reiterate, please do not spread hate to anyone involved in any way, shape, or form, or anyone in general, honestly. We ask that in these times you allow us to continue our activities without asking us for any additional information about the situation. At this point, it's an issue for the lawyers. And we ask that you do not pressure any of us to discuss the matter beyond this point. Please reach out to any color for contact regarding anything else. And I think that's everything for me. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you.